if you are working in the enterprise backend Java space, you need to know about Jakarta EE10. So I'm here in the Payara spaceship to tell you all about Jakarta EE10 in a nutshell. So in 1999, Sun Microsystems developed a platform for enterprise Java called J2EE. It has undergone a few changes. It moved to Oracle, where it became Java EE, and now it has moved to the global open source software foundation, the Eclipse Foundation, where it has become Jakarta EE. In its current form, it's a set of software components or APIs that will make your life easier when it comes to building enterprise Java applications. Since moving to Eclipse Foundation, uh, the first few releases of the now Jakarta EE have had to deal with legal changes. Jakarta EE 10 is a big deal because it's the first release under the Eclipse Foundation that will bring actual feature changes and functionality changes to this set of specifications. So it's proof that the process of these specifications being stewarded by an open source software foundation is working. Um, so what have you actually got to look forward to in this release? Well, the whole goal is out with the old and in with the new. Old unused APIs are being stripped away. There's going to be a lot more consistency brought to the platform. And one of the most exciting changes is the bringing in of core profile, which is a reduced version of the specifications that is designed to make microservices approaches easier. And it should mean that technologies that use things like GraalVM can more easily become Takata EE certified. Now, with every release following Jakarta EE10, there are going to be new enhancements and improvements. Just some of the things that are on the horizon and that our team are working towards are the specification uh, Jakarta RPC, which will standardize the approach for vendors using gRPC. No SQL, which will do the same for no SQL and Jakarta data, which will simplify data access for those applications that don't use Jakarta persistence. So with lots of new enhancements now to look forward to and the model under Eclipse Foundation working, it's a great time to think about Jakarta EE, uh, Jakarta EE 10, and even looking at it ahead of its alternatives like Spring. Hope you found this helpful. We've got a full guide on the subject, which you can find in the link in the video description. And we hope you enjoy exploring more of this new release.